morning everybody guess what time it is it's really friggin early okay I broke the uh, sleep schedule no what's it called uh, sleep hygiene rules okay I'll tell you those before I do my hunting den stuff um, so um, look I have two pencils out and I thought I put them both away that's kind of funny okay so all right so I am up at what time is it? Oh, right. And we better make sure this is recording. Yes. And put the cursor all the way up there. Okay, guys. This is like, okay, 3.32, but I've been up since 1. Okay, so I forgot about the rules. Okay, so let me read you the sleep hygiene uh, rules that Dr. Kumar laid out for me. And I broke them yesterday and ended up really up early so here's the hygiene rules and i think i told you guys that i can only take a one hour nap but it's more than that so first of all i'm excited that i can watch movies before bed but i have to be sitting in a chair um so i don't go to sleep sitting in my bed which happened to me last night well pretty much so anyways um so that is nice because uh other people like in Skownia clinic people say no screens before bed and i was like yes i can watch movies before bed but just in the chair but if i wake up ridiculously early and i have been about one o'clock and i don't even know if i've been falling asleep or not i did when i was yes um i did when i was at the hotel that night uh, but i also stayed up till almost 10 which was when i was supposed to go to bed and all the elements were in place for me to fall asleep at that time um so i yeah that was i still woke up at 2 30 that day um but i still got solid sleep this one i just gave up trying to sleep at one o'clock so anyways so um so I can't watch movies, but if I wake up at one o'clock in the morning, I cannot watch movies or anything. I have to read a book, but I can read my book in bed, which is nice because I usually put my head back like this and want to fall asleep. So that's the rule I broke the last two nights, and that's why I'm up so early. Um, I just went to bed because I was so tired and I missed my nap time. So between one and three, I can take one hour nap. But yesterday, well, the last two days, because I had my um, lumbar puncture, was so tired and just exhausted after that. So I slept, and I I think it's okay for me. I think the rule, you know, to sleep as soon as I get home from the lumbar puncture, because I'm feeling nauseous and bad. So I think that one's probably okay. But then uh, last night I woke up at one and normally I would have taken my nap, but I missed it because I have appointments on pretty much every day. So anyway, so that's why I was so tired and um, went to bed too early. Uh, so again, I think if I stay up till 10, hopefully my wake up time will be a little bit better for me, but they want me to get seven hours of sleep um, from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. So that's what they're hoping for. But I, this is definitely the earliest I have been waking up because I think when I was doing my videos when I was in the other place, um, Brookside, I was getting up about 4, which is, would be awesome for me. Uh, so yeah, I didn't get pretty much any sleep last night. But again, I slept so good at the hotel even though I did get up early. Uh, so the goal is that the sleep hygiene will help me get better sleep. So again, I keep breaking the rules though and not um, getting out of my bed. Oh, I can read it in bed, right, but, right, um, but yes, I keep getting those rules swapped. So yes, I can, when I get up, I can read in bed, and but before bed, I can watch movies, but in the chair I have there. Okay. So that's my sleep hygiene. Um, right. Okay. All right. So yes, tomorrow I'm going to actually make myself like, yeah, not, yes, I watch movies. I can. I keep forgetting that I can watch movies before bed. 
which I usually do anyways, but just to be, but yeah, um, before bed, I can do that. But if I wake up, I have to get in the chair and read. Uh, no, I have to read. I can watch movies before bed, okay? See, I keep confusing myself. Um, but if I do get up, yes, so I can watch movies before bed in the chair, okay? So I don't fall asleep like that. And then if I wake up, I can be in bed but have to read a book instead of watching movies. And hopefully that will help me fall back to sleep. So anyway, but all that to say I'm on my second cup of coffee, of course. Um, so anyways, but it's nice getting up this early because I'm making more time to have worship after my videos and everything. So, okay. So that is the sleep hygiene. All right. So, um, let's see. Okay. So I, um, first of all, okay. Um, I fell off the bed yesterday. That was the first, um, fall I've had with being on the medicine, but I don't think it was really related to that because I always like sit on my bed a lot, get off and on my bed a lot. And for whatever reason, I was a little close to the edge and fell, but thankfully I just landed on my knee. It didn't even really hurt. Um, it, you know, maybe a little bruise I have, so it wasn't even anything, but just, I had to call Jessica to tell her that I felt um, but so, okay. All right. So, oh yeah. So I got a check. Okay, guys. Um, for, for $125. And so I have to call Jessica this morning because I'm confused. This one was for J July and I guess they pay you for the month. Like, so, but July, I definitely got my MRI and had one office visit. So 150, if that's what I'm supposed to be getting paid for the MRIs. I'm pretty sure that's what Jessica said. And we're definitely getting $100 per office visit. So that should have been 250 and I got 125. So I just, I had to call because I'm, you know, just want to clarify, um, what I am supposed to be getting paid because, you know, that's what I was sure she told me at 150 for the MRIs. Um, so anyway, okay. So, but I'm going to give um, it to my mom because I, well, she's my, you guys know, my financial power of attorney. And so, and I owe her 350 that she kind of lent me as my budget. She gives me this like $200 over my disability money to help out with like getting the bus pass and lift charges when I have to, you know, get to my appointments and that. So, um, but so she said, yeah, that, I, but I owe her 350 because I didn't have enough money and she covered it. Um, so, uh, so, I said, you can have the 125, you know, but I think I, I don't know if I told you guys I lost my Bible. Um, so, um, I was in the drawer and I really need another Bible. Um, so, the, but thankfully I'm going to ask mom cause I just asked if we could use it out of the budget for the, um, August budget, but she's like, nope, you, you know, so, but so, but I asked if with this check that I got, um, cause it's extra, you know, hopefully I can use my $22. That's how much it costs to get my Bible in a year. Um, so I think she'll be okay with that and then use the rest to pay her off what I owe her. And again, I, after I talk to Jessica, hopefully, um, she'll, you know, cause I, I'm pretty certain that she said 150 per MRI. So I'll call her to clarify. Maybe the first check is less. I don't know. So anyway, okay. So. All right. And that was obviously for the, yeah, for the services. Uh, well, yeah, the test I got. Okay. 
All right, okay, so, all right, guys, this is um, one of those things I do all the time. All right, so I throw stuff away because I'm the kind of person, you know, that gets rid of things instead of accumulating a lot of them. And so I'm also like, okay, so I try to get rid of, like, trash and stuff in my room. Anyway, so what happened was my mom, so I just got this bike. I'm very excited about riding it to places it's like a beach cruiser and I got it from mom's friend well our friend Charlene um and I love it I love it and she got it tuned up before so it was like I'm so excited to start riding it so mom even before I got the bike from Charlene got me a helmet and a bike lock however she did get me a combination and lock um, and, okay, guys, so I, I didn't realize that the instructions, you know, were attached to the package, and I took it out of the pa package so I could put it in my bike so I could have those two together, and I completely blanked that the instructions were on that uh, for setting the combination, and, and I was like, oh, no. So I thought it said bike on there, and we put in bike, and it didn't work. So mom's like, and I was like, oh no. So we tried to, mom thought she might have the receipt in her car and she didn't. Uh, so anyway, and I was like, uh, you know, so now I get to get another lock that's a lock kind, um, bike lock. Um, but anyway, so, but mom's like, Stephanie, because it's like, I always do it. And she's like, that's definitely a Huntington thing. And I was like, oh yeah. Um, the worst one that I did was throw out my nursing license accidentally because I was clearing out old files. See, I've even done this. Yeah, this was in Rochester, but I've done this, getting rid of the from files and that were empty. And anyways, my nursing license was in one of those files and I threw it out in the trash. And thankfully, I realized it and ran out to the trash and rescued it but it had snow all over it so anyways uh that was one of the worst examples of me throwing that stuff away so um so yes that's one of those things so okay all right now to the actual you do notes those were sticky notes i gotta drink a little sip of coffee oh yeah i did forget to tell you guys that Right after I got the lumbar puncture, they want you to walk around, I think, to kind of spread out the medicine or I don't know why. Uh, but it was fun because me and Nova went on a walk around the building. And then at the same time, Connor wanted to come, but he wanted to walk with me, Ma, not me and Nova. So we each are near each other. And um, so it was funny. And so... Um, and then, so there's this door that kind of like magically opens when, anyway, if you put your arms up. So it was funny, the first time mom did it, I was walking through the hallway and mom's like, ta-da, or whatever she said. And the door opened when she went like this. And then I found out there's a sensor. So it was like, I did that when Nova was walking with me. And and then there was another door and she was like, I don't think this is that kind. And I did it again and it opened. So anyways, uh, so that was fun. So yep, we got our walk in. All right. Okay. Oh, right. My other moment of panic right after my appointment. So on the drive home, I think I told you guys I got the worst headache and Nova gave me two Advil to help and it really did help. Um, but the only thing was after she gave it to me and I was really out of it, I was like, crap, oh no, because you're not supposed to take any medicine that you don't talk to Jessica first because, um, there, it could have side effects or something and, you know, negatively affect the medicine I'm on now and everything. And I was like, oh no, I, I'm going to get, you know, out of the study or whatever. I was so panicked. Um, so I called Jessica like immediately and I was like, I do do Tylenol. And she's like, oh, that's okay. You can take stuff for pain like that. 
so um, that was nice to be relieved that I can take Moltron and um, Tylenol and not, at, you know, if I need to lose. Let's see. Okay, yeah, okay. I think that's everything. All right, time for the devotional. Did I say no, the worship song's gonna be? Um, would, oh, Who You Say I Am by Hillsong. All right. Okay, here we are, still in the chapter. Love heals through creation. Oh, yeah. As, as you drift off to sleep, instead of watching TV or reading, wait, that's funny, because those are, okay, it's the last act of the day, take five minutes and listen as you close your eyes. Recall the amazing creation that you have witnessed and give thanks for every living thing you encountered. Another way to reconnect or connect to creation is to learn and the healing properties of the planet around you. Before modern medicine, tradition told us to use what grew from the earth to breathe in lavender for peace, to pick some rosemary and set it by your nightstand for help with with memory to okay to help with memory to put some wild mint in a drink to help settle your stomach whoever is growing whatever is growing near you learn about these plants and see how they can be a part of healing in your life as not as miracle cures, not as miracle cures, but as a part of intentional walk toward wholeness. All right, time to pray for you guys. Hold on, gotta make sure I put the bookmark in. All right, thank you, Jesus, so much for um, every amazing person that watches my videos. And I ask just as, again, as they watch it, they would feel your presence so near to them, especially the ones that, that don't know your hope yet, Lord, that they would just get uh, such a sense of your goodness in being able to and, and hope um, in trusting you with this Huntington's disease. Um, thank you. All right, guys, I will talk. Oh, I'm going to start doing Fun Friday again. Because I stopped because my long runs were going to be on Fridays, but now I have appointments too. Well, yeah, I have my chiropractor appointment on Fridays at um, 2.30, but that's every other week. And then I have my PT appointments um, on Friday. So, but the I, long runs would take me all day and I'd be exhausted after, but now because of the appointments, I'm not doing long runs on that day. So all that to say, since I finally found Pedro, I'm going to start doing Fun Fridays again. So start like tomorrow. Okay, guys, I'll talk when I have more to say. Have, have blessed days.